to replace uh, Neil Mopé up front for Everton. Mitrovic sliding into the box for Fulham. Pereira cross face. Yes! Bobby Dekadova Reed is there. It's 1 0 to Fulham. Quizzical looks from the Everton defenders all glancing at each other. I think they had a quick look across at the assistant as well, thinking there may have been an offside, but Pereira did really well. And Bobby Decker, Dover, Reed, they're coming in. As far as commentary positions goes, good pitch. Oh, that's a giveaway from uh, Arsenal. Pereira with the opportunity. And Fulham rear in front. Fulham have taken the lead. It's Andreas Pereira. And I actually said, JB, before the game, you never know. Something like that could happen where one of their players makes a ridiculous mistake. Anthony Robinson's 30 yards or so from goal. John Kearney on the edge of the box. Everybody else is in there as Harrison Reed swings it in. Go try! Oh, yes! with the equaliser for Fulham. He took it on first time with his right foot. I'm not sure it's a half volley, Jamie. It was a. He's caught it on the volley, I think. Yeah, it's just landed in front of him. There was plenty of bodies around him, but Jao Polina. A couple of inches. And he got away with it, but Pereira. And there's a goal for Fulham. It's one apiece. And it's Tim Ream, I think, of all people. The corner coming in from Andreas Pereira. Jimenez caught it first time. Forced the save out of Edison, but almost took him by surprise. And following up at the near post. Here's Willian, left-hand side. Can he get the ball across the face of goal? He does. Keeper's dropped it, and it's in. And it's Vinicius. And you couldn't make that up. Johnny on the spot in front of the Hammersmith Enders. It's 1-0 to Fulham. I said there might be a mistake, Jamie, coming. And uh, they were just a little bit lax there, Willian. They lose possession so easily. There's a foul here on Willian as well, but Pereira's got a bit of space down the left-hand side. The ball in, looking for Bobby Decker to overread, surely. Yes! Bobby Decker to overread, 1-0. 1-0 to Fulham. That's a lovely finish from Bobby. Again, they committed men forward, as Jamie alluded to. Difficult to find a way through. Awobi to Decker to overread. Back to Alex Awobi. That was a poor ball in. And it was cut out, but uh, Fulham win it back. It's Tom Kearney, he goes for goal with the left foot. Oh! oh! Yes, yes, yes. Tom Kearney! Tom Kearney for Fulham! He's done the keeper from 25 yards. He's only been on the pitch a couple of minutes. The left foot of Tom Kearney, he sized it, weighed it up. Pushes it for William. 18 yards from the byline, left-hand side of the box, little chip in. Harry Wilson couldn't quite get there, it falls for Willian again. Yes! It's 3-1, and that's the three points for Fulham for sure. Willian with his first goal of the season. Working hard, you'd have to say it's, it's dreadful defending again for me from Sheffield United, but that's not our problem. Well, I don't think we're one of the worst, to be honest. Here's Alex Awobi. See, one of theirs has gone down now. Here's an opportunity, and Get there it is. There. It's one all. And it's Jao Polina on the turn. A great finish, and he runs to celebrate on his 50th appearance for Fulham. He runs to celebrate with the Fulham fans behind the goal. Well, same old Fulham, always scoring. And TC, by the look of it, as the ball's play forward here towards Robinson. Plays it across to Real Jimenez, and there is the goal that he's been looking for. He's been desperate to score, and you can see just how pleased he is. He's up and running in Fulham colours. Who knows whether it might be meaningful in this match. Working his way across field, squares it for Anthony Robinson in the inside left position, currently. To William, back to Robinson, into the box, pulls it back, and yes! it's 1-0 to Fulham. It's Alex Awobi. He started the game out wide on the right-hand side, but uh, he's made a lovely little run into the box there. He was involved in the move early on. It was him who spread the, foot, uh, the game across to the left-hand side. Nice work between uh, William and uh, Anthony Robinson. Ball on the spot. He's just uh, in the D. Takes his run up. Hesitates. Slots it in. 2-1 to Fulham. It's a sweet penalty from William. Nice little run up, but just a last minute stop and the hesitation, let the keeper go and then just pass it into the net. And he do it again. William from the penalty spot in the 94th minute and a Hammersmith end. Again, the little stutter. stutter yes! he's, put he's put it the other side. It's 3 2 to Fulham. William with the late penalty and Jamie, I've got. To 
I've got to watch myself here because this is not what someone who's no, no, just careful, a heart careful. It's a sign up for really. Pushes it for Alex Awobi, left hand channel up towards the edge of the penalty area. The overlapping Robinson plays the low cross in and it's one apiece. And it's Harry Wilson who's nudged it in. That's a lovely goal, Jamie. Good work from Fulham. We open them up there with two or three just tidy little passes and then the final ball into the box from uh, Anthony Robinson. Yeah, not the best of balls, but there's an opportunity. It's gone in. It's Kenny. It's Kenny Tetti who's got the final touch. It didn't look like the best of deliveries. Oh, is it being ruled out? He's reacted quicker to him and as his header, but when he heads it... It is an equaliser to Fulham, it's 2-2. And Kenny Tetti is celebrating, Look at him. being back in oh, the side. Kid. First time cross from Bobby Deckard over Reed, right through the box, Williams there. Left-hand side of the penalty area, feeds it back in for Tom Kenny on the left foot, pulls it across, and it is! Yes! There it is, it's 3-2 to Fulham! It's Bobby Deckard over Reed with the header in front of the Fulham fans, and that was absolute quality from Fulham. He's not been on long, Fulham. <laughs> Finds Tom Kearney, stepped away from Felipe, lovely stuff to William. Early ball into the box, is through to Iwobi, and it's 1-0 on the half-hour mark. Having got the uh, first effort on goal, on target from, uh, or almost on target from Pereira, we've added to it. Here we come Fulham again with uh, Iwobi. Finds Alex Pereira and uh, Jimenez. Yes! Well, I'll tell you what, that's a great finish. We were saying Alex Iwobi was a good finish. Raul Jimenez there for Fulham. Well, he's been waiting for such a long time. And as I say, if he can add to it, he's into the box again. Now he shoves Aina away, he's round the keeper, and he's done it. He's back heeled it into the net. The Forest players are furious with the referee. They think there was a foul there on Ola Aina. There will be a VAR inspection, but at the moment, Raul Jimenez is being surrounded by his teammates, and they're loving it. Good strength. Gets it back, touches it for Tom Kearney. Forward for Harry Wilson, who's found a bit of space. It's across the box, Iwobi, and there it is. It's 4-0 to Fulham. It's a brace for Alex Iwobi as well. Lovely finish with his right foot, and another good move from Fulham. You've got to say, they're at sixes and sevens, really, Forrest. There's Murillo. Yates, well, he's giving it away. Tom Kearney bursts in. Pereira for Tom Kearney onto the left foot. Slides it in. It's 5-0 to Fulham. This is lovely. All too easy. And then could be another nail in the coffin of uh, the Nottingham Forest manager because it's turning into a rout now. It was a lovely finish again, Jamie. Kept his composure, Tom. Might well have been something on for Fulham, but wonderful tackle, Jamie, from João Polina. It was a double tackle, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, he's so, so impressive, Jim, because everyone talks about Suchek as being a brilliant midfielder. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Polina with the cross. Raul Jimenez with the header. It's another goal for the Mexican. Fulham are in front. It's 1-0. The header at the putney end, and João Polina having uh, gone on that... Um, Amazing run with that wonderful tackle in the previous passage of play. This time, yeah. William slides it instead to Iwobi. Oh. The shot on target's a good save from Fabianski. Pereira pulls it back. Iwobi, William, it's 2 0. Fulham are 2 0 in front. And it's William slotting it away. Good work from Fulham, left, right, and centre. And in the end, after Fabianski made a good save from Alex Iwobi. We pushed it across the penalty area. Corner's given. Pereira with it. Tossing. It's 3 0 yes! to Fulham. Well, tossing with the header at the moment. It is just going from. Oh, well, it's better and better for Fulham. It's 3 0. It's tossing with his first goal of the season. I've never known David Moyes be down in his seat for so long. Tom Kearney, a lovely ball to pick out Harry Wilson. There's the effort. Oh, it's yes! 4 0. 4-0 to Fulham, Harry Wilson, absolute blinder with his left foot. There's young Emmett. You can probably hear him, the young man alongside us. He's, uh, he's had heart trouble since a uh, five-year-old, numerous operations. But he's up here as a, a special treat. To Harrison Reed. 
Early ball forward to look for Harry Wilson, who's through on goal, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, nudges it for Vinicius. It's 5-0 to Fulham. Absolute quality. And that is a great day for this young man alongside me here to my right. Loving it. What an afternoon he's had, Jamie. What an afternoon we've all had. Vinicius. Seems to be getting back to his feet as uh, William finds Tom Kearney across the face of goal. Yes! It's one all, and it's Raul Jimenez. And it's an absolutely inch-perfect ball again from the Fulham captain, Tom Kearney. We said how good it was to have Raul Jimenez back in the side. And hopefully he could continue in his goal scoring in his rich vein of form. Swings it in towards the penalty spot. Polina got his head on it, came off a defender, yes! and it's in. Bobby Decker over Reed for Fulham, it's 2 1. And looked across at the uh, far side. Polina got a whack in the face, I think, during that, and he's down flat on his back. But uh, Bobby Decker over Reed couldn't care less about that at the moment. He's over by the corner flag with seven or eight other Fulham players celebrating. Reacted quickly inside the box, Bobby. This afternoon, prevent them doing the double on us and keep us uh, safely up in mid-table. It's a good header and it's in. For Xiao Polina, it's 1-0 to Fulham. And it's against the run of play, you've got to say. Let's be honest about it, but Jamie, a good delivery. We've been crying out for better delivery. We had no end of corners. 15, I think, against Everton. Didn't really threaten their goal, but that's a well-placed spot kick, a well-placed corner from our point of view, but fingers crossed. Certainly we've uh, got an opportunity now, and there's a ball through from Younes, who stayed onside, and it's 2-0 if the flag stays down. Well, it is 2-0, and it's Rodrigo Munez. It was played over the top to him. They were uh, flat-footed. Burnley, they were caught flat-footed and uh, obviously felt there might be an offside flag to save them, but it didn't come. He's gone, made his mind up early, Rodrigo Muniz, and he looks so emotional down there, Jamie. He's almost in tears. He decided early. He is actually in tears, the kid. Quality player. I think he's got he had a few caps for Spain. As, uh, Rodrigo Muniz runs through. Feels <laughs> like handball a couple of times there, but uh, he's still got it. Pulls it back into the box. Oh, there's a slip. Bobby Deckard over Reed. Yes! It's 1-0 to Fulham. And it's a goal out of nowhere, really. I think maybe the wet pitch. Partly responsible. But it's a gift for Bobby, but he still had a bit to do. He had to keep his composure and make sure he found the net. Concentrating a bit too much on going down at the moment rather than winning the uh, challenges. But Tom Kearney touches it for William. Brazilian Maestro floats it into the box. Bobby Decado Reed heads it across and it's 2 0. And Rodrigo Muniz has reacted so quickly there. He got his first Premier League goal last week. The manager stuck with him. <coughs> and he's added to it. He's doubled his Premier League tally. And how about that? It's a good finish, Jamie. Lovely ball from William. As I said earlier, he just exudes class. The floated ball, clever. Swings it in. There it is. Yes. It's 3-1. It's Rodrigo Muniz again. Come on! Come on, Fulham! Come on! Absolute quality again. A bit of class from Fulham. Williams swinging the cross in. Well, he's turned into Gordon Davis. Rodrigo Muniz suddenly... A couple of times, Harry's been good, hasn't he, coming off the bench? Yeah, he has. As Tom Kearney floats one down the left-hand channel. Anthony Robinson's after it. He got there first, did well. And yes, yes! it's 2-1! Well, Rodrigo Muniz is there again. And just like last week, that is a real poacher's goal. Anthony Robinson did ever so well. He could only just get to the ball from Tom Kearney. He had blood, didn't he, coming out of his injury uh, yeah. cut? Pereira, oh! Oh, yes! 1-0! It's Calvin Bassi. <laughs> His first goal for Fulham. He's absolutely smashed it past Anana. We had an effort from the corner that was blocked and I thought the chance was gone. It fell, everybody hesitated for a moment or two, apart from Calvin Bassey, who stepped up and absolutely spanked it past Anana. Back for Diop, hooks it forward up towards Rodrigo Muniz. He's all man handled by Maguire. Traore, though, first forward, gets the better of Maguire. Carrying it well into the Manchester United half, cutting in field. Amanda Traore for Alex Iwobi, back onto the right foot. Yes! He's done it! Come on! Come on! Come on, Fulham! 
Come on, Fulham! Alex Awobi, we've done the double Nigerian. What a goal! And what a great winner, let's hope, for Fulham. We deserve that. We really deserve that. What a finish, Jamie. He rolls that one out underarm for Calvin Bassey. Left-hand side of central defence. Floats it forward. Down the middle, looking for Muniz, who won the header above Adam Webster, but Webster recovered, and now it's headed into the path of Harry Wilson onto his left foot, and there it is. 1-0 to Fulham. 1-0, and it's a lovely finish again from Harry Wilson. He loves to cut in from the right-hand side, and if he gets an opportunity to shape up onto his left foot, time and time again, we've seen him bury those. Harrison Reed to Harry Wilson, right-hand side. Looks up, swings the cross in with his left foot. It's yes! Oh, it's Rodrigo Muniz. He's done it again. And that is a great goal. An absolutely blinding cross and header. Harry Wilson to Rodrigo Muniz. And Jamie's getting more and more like Alexander Mitrovic every time we see him. He's timed his run to perfection. He's guided the header with pace. It's passed the keeper like a bullet. And with everyone behind the ball, back it goes for Veltman. Plays it back to Gross. Four minutes of added time, and that's uh, not an awful lot. And Bobby Decker Dover Reed is dispossessed. The Brighton man touches it towards Traore. He's into the box and he slots it home, and it's 3 0 to Fulham. That's an inclusive win, and we finished so well today. Adama Traore with his first goal for Fulham. He got the assist last week up at Old Trafford. Now he's notched his first goal, Jamie. We're all desperate to see him in action, wasn't it? He was so unlucky with injuries, and we were waiting and waiting to see him. Finds William. Can we get a consolation goal at least? William to Robinson once more. Drills it across. Broyer. Well, it is in. Awobi. Is it Awobi with a final touch? It's in the net. And they all went quiet, and I thought they were. Alex scored it, yep. Gave it away, but he gets it back. Can we do better this time? He feeds it out for Anthony Robinson. Late in this first half, he finds Muniz. Is there a goal here? There he is. Yes! Rodrigo Muniz. He's done it again. Fulham won. Spurs nil. And that's five home games on the bounce. And I don't think anyone's done that for Fulham in the Premier League. It's quite incredible, really, the improvement in this young man in, uh, in recent months. You can hear the Hammersmith end, he's celebrating with the fans at the Putney end. Robinson with the throw, finds Polina, Sasha Lukic with a bit of space in the middle, slides it out towards Alex Awobi, right-hand side, Castagna goes on the overlap, Awobi touches Clever. it to him, across the face of goal, yes! and it's in! It's 2-0, and it's Sasha Lukic with his first goal for Fulham! That's 2-0! Oh, what a lovely goal! The position in the defenders, corner coming in, Polina with the header, Calvin Bassi, oh. oh, hit the post, and it's in, it's 3-0. Fulham are 3-0 ahead. It's Muniz again. Calvin Bassi shot hit the post, I think. He came out, he's hurt himself, Rodrigo Muniz. But he's added another, I think he got the final touch. With that Look at the replay, he was brave, and it just trickled over the line in the end. Let's hope he hasn't injured himself. He lacks a bit in quality for me, but... Uh, He's opened us up, and there's a header, and it's one yes! goal straight from the corner, and it's Yao Polina in front of the Fulham fans. It's one apiece on 62 minutes. I was saying we hadn't really threatened their goal much from the previous six corners. So it's only 3-1 as Tom Candy finds Bobby Deckard over Reed. Worst 3-2. Just on a minute or so ago, Bobby, he's taken one touch with his right foot and smashed it from 20 odd yards. Low and hard past the keeper, it's now 3 2. Incredible game, this. Here's William once more. Triori inside the penalty area, right hand side, a little chip in. There it is! 3 0! What a goal! What a goal! Rodrigo Muniz has done it again. Absolutely brilliant from what Fulham. What a goal! His eighth Premier League goal of the season. Absolutely brilliant on the volley. Great work from Fulham. It's three apiece. Oh, they've got hold of Polina there. In the box, the referee needs to keep an eye on that. The header towards goal and it's in. 
first goal for Fulham, it was tossing. I think he got up and got his head on it, was it? Or was it Kenny? Difficult to say, but... Uh, I think you're right, tossing. Corner coming in again. It didn't look like the best of balls, but I think tossing got you're up. right. Patel went to ground looking for a free kick. Mr Atwell waves it away. Pereira finds Alex Awobi, right-hand side. Floats it into the box, looking for Muniz. It's an opportunity here for Pereira, and it's 1-0 yes. to Fulham. And that's a terrible mistake at the back from West Ham. And sometimes you need something like that. It's only a second Premier League goal of the season, Andreas Pereira. We keep saying he could do with a goal. Well, he's buried that one and he's made a beeline for Marco Silva. There's a hug there for the manager. The chance for Rodrigo Muniz to feed it for Alex Awobi, right-hand side of the penalty area. He's into the box, the low ball in. It's 2-0. It's Andreas Pereira again. And that hopefully... Could seal the three points here. Yeah, one goal coming into it, Jamie. He's trebled his goal tally, and that was a lovely move from Fulham. It all started from the Jao Polina block. Poor officiating. Fulham should have had a corner, but Anthony Robinson with a cross coming in. Oh, Muniz push. pushed in the box. Surely, it won't be. Muniz could be a handball. Castagna! <laughs> Timothy Castagna, come on, Fulham! Come on! Bang on half time, and it's Timothy Castagna in the end who finished it. There was all sorts of uh, appeals for penalties. Eric Mitchell away on the far side, although he's turned it in field for Jao Polina to Pereira. Probably a decade over he left it. Castagna yes! across Rodrigo Nunes. It's 1 0. Fulham are in front, and Rodrigo Nunes is back on the goal trail. <coughs> Perfectly placed, it's a great cross on the run from Timothy Castagna. And Muniz there at close range, it's his ninth Premier League goal of the season. Pushes it infield for Harry Wilson, 30 yards from goal. Finds Adama, yes, what a lovely goal. Adama Traore makes it 1-0 to Fulham. His first Premier League start of the season and he's absolutely spanked it. The right foot is shot, I think almost took everyone by surprise. It was in the net before uh, the Luton defenders even had a chance to react, and that includes Thomas Kaminsky in the goal. All he could do was just look behind himself to her, uh, and unfortunately, it's one apiece. But here's Harry Wilson for Fulham. Can we now nick something at the end of the first half? Yes, we can, because Raul Jimenez has just passed that into the net. There's two great finishes from Fulham from two players that don't normally start. And we made that look so easy. Harry Wilson with the turn, he just played it back into the penalty area for a perfectly timed run. Swings it in with his right foot, headed towards goal by Jimenez, yes. and it's 3-1 to Fulham. Raul Jimenez has done it again. Well, I did say he might, uh, he might get another one, so that's seven now in the Premier League. And the one thing we mustn't forget, Jamie, was uh, five million quid, so... We were all disappointed, really, that he went so long without a goal. So uh, one way or the other, they're back in. And still all to play for. Harrison Reed, clever ball in field for Alex Awobi. This could be promising now for Fulham. Anthony Robinson sprinting forward. Here's Traore. Works it onto the right foot. Back to Harry Wilson. There it is. It's 4-2. And again, it's absolute quality. The finishing, really, from Fulham. It's been superb this afternoon. He was so unlucky with the free kick, Harry, that almost put us back and restored the two-goal differential. But he's buried that beautifully. An absolute pearler from Harry Wilson. Adama just setting it up for him.